Bosco. Will what? you hush what? up, you dodo? What? That's just paint. What? See? Hey, that's just paint. Yeah. Oh, I'm just so happy, little fat buddy. <laughs> you ain't dead. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without you. I do. What? You'd give yourself a raise. I know you're gonna dig this. What's going on, everybody? The video is about to start right now. I just want to point out that for the first few minutes, I'm going to mispronounce the name of the person that I'm visiting. I've never done that before, but I think you'll see why. Let's go. What's going on everybody? How are you doing today? Here I am at Hillside Memorial Park on a very, very windy day. And I'm here today and I'm visiting the grave of Boss Hogg from Dukes of Hazzard, Sorrel Brook. And I know he was born in Buffalo, New York. I know he's an actor and entertainer for a very long time. I'm going to do a little bit of what I used to do, which I don't do really more, uh, uh, anymore. Like, kind of like an Amy biography type where I tell you more about his life because uh, I like to tell more personal stories about the celebrities I meet or, or what they mean to me. I was a huge fan of Dukes of Hazzard. I still am. I still watch them in repeats if I can find them. And, uh, Boss Hogg. But I didn't know much about, else about his life. And I actually didn't even know he was buried here at Hillside Memorial. I've been here many times. I've done many videos. But Boss Hogg is here. Sorrowbrook himself. So I, I will tell you more about his life. And, um background and stuff about him like I said I don't really that's not really my style anymore I don't like to over um, hit you with a lot of facts and, and, and things about about the celebrities I visit I want to talk about more what they mean to, you, to, to us as the viewer to people uh, that you know we know them from maybe a certain role or a couple of movies or a few movies or a few TV shows and then talk about anything to do with them. But I bought a talk, he was like one of the first, him and Darth Vader, like the first two villains I ever really knew. And I mean, what a character. What and what and Sora Brook. Can you picture anybody else playing Boss Hog? No, you can't. I love that show. I even watched it uh, uh, I think. Did I watch it when it was on regular? Like I'm not, I can't remember that far back if I, if I would have watched it when I was that little. But I watched a lot of Dukes of Hazard reruns. And Sorbrook should be right around here in this area, this lawn. Right when you come in, right, right, make a left. Park, look there. That's the entranceway. Just make a left, park in that parking lot. And come onto this lawn. Let's find them together. We'll do this in real time. Let's go. So we're going to walk until we find Sorrel Brook. It is listed on Find a Grave, so I know he's in this area. Just not too sure exactly where. He actually could be on the wall as well. I'm always in a rush when I'm filming videos to get to places, but when I get to places, that's when I kind of take my time, and I don't mind. Sorrel Brook, somewhere in this beautiful little garden. I was standing trying to get my bearings and I looked off to my left and here is Sorrel Brook. Beloved Pa, Grandpa, Brother and Boss, Sorrel Brook. 
tell you a little bit about Boss Hog now. I mean, Sorrel Brook. And as I'm looking at his grave, I just realized I was saying Sorrel Brook this whole time. <laughs> I think we all think it's Sorrel Brook. But it's Sorrel Book. I always thought it was Sorrel Brook. I stand corrected, sir. Sorrel Book. Sorry about that. Sorrel Book. So yeah, Sorrel Book. I, I think for my entire life, I thought it was Sorrel Brook. Now let's talk about his life. My goodness. Sorrel Book. There's no R. Sorrel Book, he was born in Buffalo, New York. And as a child, he entertained patients in his father's waiting room. His father was a doctor. He was a young radio actor and he was known for his impersonations. He enrolled in Columbia University at the age of 16 and performed in Shakespearean plays in Columbia's Drama Club. He served in the United States Army during the Korean War for two years as a counterintelligence officer. After his Army service, he appeared on Broadway. Then he went on to television shows including 12 O'Clock High, MASH, All in the Family, Good Times. He was in a lot of movies, Slaughterhouse-Five, Up the Down Staircase, A Fine Madness. But he's best known as Jefferson Davis Boss Hogg from the show Dukes of Hazard. Some cool things I read about him, he was 5 foot 6 inches, weighed 185 pounds at the time of his boss hog role, but he wore padding to seem bigger. He was fluent in, listen to this, French, Latin, Japanese, Korean, Spanish, Portuguese, Russian, Ukrainian, Belarusian, German, Greek, and Italian. And that he also fussed with a half dozen other languages such as Arabic, Mandarin, Chinese, uh, Dutch, Persian, Polish, and Swedish. And one of his hobbies was moving into and restoring rundown houses. On February 11, 1994, Sorrel Book died of colorectal cancer in Sherman Oaks, California. And that's my visit to Sorrel Book, right there, right underneath the tree. Third tree up, coming into the main entrance of the bear stock. And he's right there. Book. Wow. Rest in peace, Boss Hog Sorrel Book. And hope you all have a great day. See you soon on the next video. Peace.